Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to automate the export of Azure SQL database to the Blob Storage. Uh, before going to that, I just I, I would like to uh, show you my environment. Uh, here is my SQL Server, and uh, in that I have one database name called Text. I want to export this every day, uh, this database as a backpack uh, to the Blob Storage at my predefined interval time like like every one day or like every it's all up to your requirement okay it is like for, for me it is like every one day okay for that we need to have a storage account and uh, make sure that the one of the recommendations from uh, azure sql server is that is you need to allow you need to set the allow uh, allow all azure services and resources to access the server should be s yes. why because storage of uh, automation is hosted on public uh, public ip public network okay and uh, go to the sql server go to the storage accounts uh, here is my uh, storage account here you need to container uh, you need to create one container i have created uh, one con just like a test folder with the name called text here you need to have some endpoint here you need to collect the access keys so click on show keys you need to copy this one if anyone some rotate uh, here keys that that uh, keys will get expired again you need to get uh, you need to get copy the new one okay and coming to endpoints like here you need to the copy the uh, blob primary endpoint here okay and i will show you one script okay so coming to this you have so you need to replace all with your all your details i showed you how to get the access key the here storage key means access key and the blob container name just a folder and the storage account name and uh, endpoint what i showed in the uh, just 10 seconds back okay this is the resource group name where your sql server is hosted uh, this is the uh, sql server name and this is the uh, username and password this is the database which i need to get export okay just replace uh, with your see here retention uh, retention days means uh, how long that backpack exists in your storage account after 10 days automatically it will get deleted and one more thing is like uh, here the backpack is going to generate with a name uh, with a with a uh, name as well as the here you can see that it is going to data it is going to give the database name and it is going to get the data like year month date and hours and milliseconds you are going to get this uh, with the name along with this backpack extension just replace uh, just go copy the uh, download this code and replace all, all these details with your with your one okay uh and now i'm copying this all this one and uh, now go to the blob storage and go to the automation accounts uh yes i want to inform you that while creating a uh, automation account make sure that you you have uh, you have created the automation accounts with as a run a run uh, azure run as account if you select no that account we we this script will get fail okay and uh, i have created one automation account uh, called with the name automation text now uh, go to the run books and before going to run books and we need to go to the modules Here click on browse gallery here type azure rm.sql press enter click on that click import agree click ok now go to the automation no it is not i am just go back to the modules yeah 
here we can see that Azure models are being updated. Okay, uh, we need to wait up to like uh, 15 minutes uh, to get this completed. And meanwhile, we will go with another action plan. Click on Run Books. Click on Browse Gallery. Here, type as a backup. Back. And press Enter. Here, you will get this up, uh, module. Click on that. Click on Import. Give any name. Click OK. Okay. Click Browse Gallery. Go to this one. Click Refresh. So here, click on that. Here, click on Edit. You click on Text Pane. So here you need to uh, give all these details but our job is like we need to run uh, uh, we need to every time it is not possible to us give the resource name we need to automate this process so for this one, click on edit powershell paste remove the code and paste your own code what you copied here okay click save And click on publish. Uh, if you, I uh, mean, uh, by default, if you don't get any error message to be displayed, so then you need to click on test pen. Why? Because uh, if you publish, if you get any error, it will not show you. So at that time, very difficult to get troubleshoot. So I recommend you everyone uh, to get uh, to search with go with the test pen. Okay, to see the what exactly error you are getting. Click on publish. Yeah, now we have created a uh, publish uh, run book. Now let's see that automation accounts got com completed. And click on run automation. Click on modules. Yeah, still it is updating. So we need to get wait. Why? Because the entire script was built on using uh, Azure RM module. So that's the reason we need to make sure that these modules are up to date. Uh, click on refresh. Now we are good to go. Now click on run books. and uh, click on backup to blog click start and uh, one more thing i would like to uh, inform you that uh, the storage account should be uh, like all uh, not in the behind the firewall if you see that uh, networking uh, this option should be yes when you select this as a selected networks you will get an error okay Right now, we don't have that kind of in uh, that kind of facility behind the storage server should be behind the firewall. Okay, like um, so. Go to the blog automation account. Click yes. Now we have submitted a job uh, uh, to the SQL server. Let's wait. Right now, it is in running. And meanwhile, you can also go to the storage account. Here we have storage account, right? Go to the containers. I'm canceling. Go to the test. You will get file X uh, file here, okay? And uh, go to the. Uh, I will go to the SQL server. Now, if the request is submitted to here. You will see this here, option here. Okay. No import histories was available. Still, it is not yet reported. Why? It was 
it got failed okay see as i said because AJ models have the capabilities and these are all uh, warnings you can ignore that okay uh, no no why it is got getting failed so why recommend go click on edit so I test click on text pane click on start oh ho name name can be ignore thing so i have not given some correct details okay i think uh, where we have done the mistake is uh, uh go to export so here i have done that okay this is and i have done okay i have copied in everything but i have changed that now i need to change this thing as well uh, now you need to view that one two three four this one okay Click on publish. Click yes. Now click on start. Click yes. Now go back to the uh, SQL server. Click yes. See that em for the history art. Uh, now see we can see that. Uh, request has reached to the SQL server. Now we are able to export the database automatically. Now this job only export the database. Okay, at uh, whenever we uh, run. Okay, and uh, meanwhile, uh, so this job I already told you that this is going to uh, uh, export the database. Now we need to automate. For that we need to link click on the link schedule schedule a book now I click on schedule give a name like a testing purpose and uh, so at which time you want to get this started you need to select that uh, okay and it is going to uh, running on the Indian standard time if you want to repeat this click on recurring and select at every one day or that you need to uh, export this database and uh, you can that and if you want to expire this option expire this schedule you can click on insert expire right now it is not required so click i'm selecting now click create click ok now this is going to uh, run for every one day so this is how we need to automate the exporting of Azure SQL databases to the blog file. It will comes as a backpack files. As you see here, uh, the export import uh, sorry export of database got failed. Okay, then let's see that. I think it, uh, uh, it was got successful. I think so. Uh, let's go to that storage account. File is needed or not. Click on containers. Yeah, file got generated. Here, one thing I would like to inform you that first of all, we need to make the database exportable to the block storage. It means we should not uh, maintain the unsupported objects in the database. For example, 
uh, I will show you some of the errors. Click on uh, export import history. See this one got failed uh, due to uh, unsupported uh, unsupported elements. So uh, if we find this kind of error, the obviously the export operation will get failed. So uh, may, we need to make sure this uh, we should not have unsupported. We either we need to drop that. Why? Because this is this database is part of the data sync. That's the reason. Uh, so what I have done is I have removed data sync and. Uh, uh, I have cleared all these unsupported arguments, but in the real time, if you want to continue this as a uh, data, uh, if you want, if you want to continue this as a data sync, and you need to export that, then it is not possible. Here, uh, you need to uh, you need to make a copy of the that database, and you need to clear all these files, and uh, you need to export that copy of the database so this, this much how uh, difficulty we have for data sync databases to get export okay now this then another export operation got failed because i have given the uh, wrong password so first of all before doing this First, we need you need to make sure that database is exportable without any issues. To click on the overview, so go to the databases and click on text and click on export to the storage account. Uh, select the storage account, give the username and password, and see the errors. Is it working fine or not? If if anything is error is there, we need to troubleshoot that. Okay. And we need to keep the database should be an exportable. Then only this uh, automation is going to work. Okay. Uh, I hope you like this video. Thank you.